I, that reminds me the um, the yimbyism that's present within Canadian conservative circles is so impressive, and uh, we're oh, not yeah. the only ones to note it. The British conservatives have just been uh, essentially foaming at the mouth, seeing both Poitiev and, and Scott Agenson, uh, friends of the show, be in Parliament and like be absolutely the most pro yimby voices in the Anglosphere. Uh, it's been beautiful yep. to see, and I don't, you know, everyone has an issue where they say this is the one dominant issue that impacts everything. But certainly for housing policy, building, uh, all these kind of things, it is true. Uh, so much from this creates uh, incentives, good or bad, for all of our but lives, just, our cities, our livelihoods. Yeah, just think of the spillover effect of paying $2,600 a month in rent for a very small two-bedroom apartment or condo. Um, what does that mean? Well, it means you have less disposable income. You're spending less on where you get your food, on if you go to restaurants, if you travel, if you have kids, what are you enrolling them in? Um, it just eats away entirely at the ability to spend money on other things in the economy and just locks it up in real estate. And it's the same for mortgages, right? The example of someone who went from 0.5 to 4.5 on their mortgage in the span of a year and a half, uh, their decisions financially over the course of that time are going to change drastically. And so that's all often ignored because it's like, yeah, we want cheaper housing because we want people to not spend 40, 50, 55, 60% of their disposable income on shelter. Um, but by not spending that much on shelter, they actually then get to buy the other things that they like, or they get to save and have savings for when they retire and rely less on CPP. Um, it's very much that housing theory of everything. I mean, when people talk about birth rates and, and Canadians not having enough kids, well, that's certainly understandable given the fact that Canadians on, on mass spend a significant portion of their disposable income on shelter. And so if you're spending that on a two bedroom apartment, you're not having a second kid. 